Come on! Yes! Come on! How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel today. Forrest taking on QPR at the City Ground for the third straight game in a row as well, which as I said in my last vlog is pretty rare. But uh, hopefully it goes in our favour. Obviously a playoff rival and they won at the weekend as well to get their season back on track because they had a bit of a tough one of form, obviously QPR. Managed by an ex-Forest man as well in Mark Warburton. They've got a good set of players there so it's going to be a tough one this. Will this man score yet again? Signed a new contract on Monday which was absolutely brilliant to see. He's one of our own. It'd be nice to see... Was a and Brennan get contracts before the end of the season, particularly Brennan. Uh, but yeah, we'll wait and see about that one. My prediction for tonight, I'm not expecting it to be easy like Reading was ultimately. I'm going to have 2 1 Forest. It should be an interesting one. This I'll take a draw, only ultimately we want to win. If you enjoyed this vlog, then please, of course, hit the like button on it. Subscribe to Rads if you are indeed new. Go for 3,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And yeah, let's go. Come on, you Rads. So, Dad? Yes. Ideal conditions, as you can conditions see. Conditions are perfect. Look at it. It's absolutely bucketing down. God, it's lovely out. <laughs> oh, look at this idiot. If you're going to pull out in traffic, are you filming this? Yeah, I am, actually. If you're going to pull out in traffic, get your foot down, you imbecile. Anyway, the score. <laughs> I predict a 2-1 victory to the Garibaldi Reds. Now, Edwin Vaughan, if you're watching me, I am sorry. I know you're a huge QPR fan, and we do like you, but we've got to stick to our own team, obviously. So yeah, two on Forest, you Reds. The lineup, two changes, kind of expected really. Zinconagel and Figueredo actually getting game time, which, to be quite honest, is a bit of a liability. And based off the social media reaction, people aren't too encouraged by it. However, I'm kind of pleased for him because he's not done an awful lot wrong. Hopefully he can do a good count on himself. Zinc's back in the side as well. It's a shame we don't have Cookie and Low, but uh, yeah, close to come in. Should be a good one this. even game so far. There's been good spells for both sides, particularly recently. Definitely Forest have been on. You can gather who that's aimed at, Jeff Hendry. Good spell for us. Um, keep it up, guys. <laughs> Too ashamed of to lose to QPR because they're a great side. But if you want to go, you can't really be affording to lose at home to a playoff rival, can you? I think Fuchs has done pretty well. Um, I think Kinnock was actually done well today. He's very good for 50, as everyone knows. I don't think anyone's particularly been bad today. I do think, would you say we missed Cole back in midfield? Definitely. Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, again, we do miss Cole back. Uh, in his actual position. What do you think that? Well, pretty even match so far. Uh, it wasn't well taken goal by them, but we had a lot of possession. A lot of near misses. Yeah, I think it should be 1-1. One, one, yeah. To be Contract 
man! Sign the contract! What can I say? King Jed Spence. The goal. Forest. That, that was the best. It was. It was. What a goal. What a ball, yeah. I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. I think he's the worst so far. <laughs> we think we said that a few times, isn't no, he? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Come on. Shoot! Oh! Come on. Oh! Good performance second half so far. The lot, I mean, as you can clearly tell, referee just unbelievably good. Um, yeah, it's been mainly us. Dominating, to be honest. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, lads! Who got that? I don't know! Come on! Come on! This incredible team. Well, I think that's one of the games of the season, don't you? Uh, I said 2 1, but I'm very, very happy with 3 1. Spencer's goal was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, he scored again, and who got the third? I forgot. Jono. Jono, yeah. Great result. Coming back from 1 0 down, the referee, as usual, wasn't exactly brilliant. I thought it was very good, you know? No. QPR towards the end started getting a little bit dirty, a lot of shirt pulling, a lot of play acting, a lot of time wasting, but we got the three points and yeah, we just keep marching on. Playoffs, here we come. Where are we now? Seventh? 
Eighth. Eighth. Yeah. Incredibly tight though. Yeah. Liverpool must be quaking in their boots. It's not often I'm lost for words when it comes to anything, quite frankly, but this, I, when that third goal went in, I just couldn't believe it. Like, you know, QPR weren't exactly the best in the second half, but I just thought, wow. You know, this is the team I've watched from afar all season. They've done really well and they've got some great players. You know, the, the way we just performed in that second half is just phenomenal. It's exactly what you want. I just can't. I love this team so much. I don't want it to be dismantled anytime soon. My, I just got some toast, believe it or not. It's just popped up. Uh, Post-match toast. Just what a goal from Jed. What an insane, and literally, some strikers have struggled to do that. <laughs> Don't get me started on Martin Yates. What a bloke. I said it in the intro, didn't I? Is this man going to score again today? Yes, he is. And then Jono. Cafro came on, did all right again, got an assist. Really good to see Lolly come back. And I really want Lolly to revitalise his career at Forest because, you know, with all the options we already have, Jono, Zink, you know, Davis, Graven even, uh, Surridge, I think it's been fantastic, and so is Keenan Davis. And you know, I like Martin as well, but I think Martin might get learned out in the summer. If you think about Joe Lolly from three seasons ago, imagine if we were to add Prime Joe Lolly into the mix. My God, we would have, for me, one of the best attacks in the entire division. Hello. You have some toast as well. Toast time. Of course. If you're a Forest fan, a high doubt you haven't enjoyed this vlog and if you've got to this stage as well, then why the hell not subscribe? So uh, yeah, please do that and hit the like button. It's all very, very helpful and appreciative, if that's a word, I don't know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Obviously Liverpool the weekend, which is going to be mental. See you very soon.